Welcome to Electron Line. And now for part two of the problem we started in the previous video. We had the circuit with four capacitors. We determined the charge on each of the four capacitors and we determined the voltage across each of the four. Now we're going to determine the energy on each of the four capacitors. But before we do that, let's find the energy of the equivalent circuit. And so the energy can be found as follows. U, stands for energy, is equal to one half the charge times the voltage. Okay, so one half QV. In this case, since we want to find the total energy of the whole circuit, we need the total charge times the total voltage. So this is equal to one half. The total charge we found to be 10 thirds of a, oh no, charge, not capacitance. I'm looking for the charge. So the total charge was 300 microcoulombs times the voltage of 90 volts. And so Coulomb times voltage gives us joules. And uh, 300 e to the 6 minus times 0.5 times 90 equals 0 0.0135 joules. 0 0.0135 joules. So now we're ready to find the energy on each of the four capacitors. So C, just before you can find the energy, you will need to know the charge on each capacitor and the voltage across each capacitor. So that's why we had to do part one first. So let's find U on the first capacitor, that's equal to one half. Q on the first capacitor times voltage across the first capacitor, that's equal to one half times Q, which is 120 microcoulombs times a voltage of 60 volts. And so that would be equal to 60 times 60. Let's see here. That would be 0 0.0036 joules. The energy on the second capacitor is 1 half Q2V2, which is 1 half times. Charge on the second capacitor is 180 microcoulombs times the voltage of 60 volts. And so that would be 9 times that, that would be 0 0.0054 joules. The energy on the third capacitor is 1 half Q3V3, which is 1 half times 120 microcoulombs times, that would be 30 volts. And so that would be half of what we had over there. Hmm, let's see here. 60, that's 180. Not quite half, because it's difference in voltage. So 60, that would be 0 0.0018 joules. And U4, the energy on the fourth capacitor is 1 half Q4V4, which is 1 half. Q4 is 180 microcoulombs. And the voltage on that one is also 30 volts. 9, that would be 0 0.0027 joules. All right, so now we've found the total energy on the equivalent circuit and the energy on each of the four capacitors. If we did it right, we should be able to add these four up, and that should add up to the one that we found for the equivalent circuit. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 0.0036 plus 0.0054 plus 0.0018 plus 0.0027, and sure enough, when you add them all up, you get 0 0.0135 joules, which again shows us we've done it correctly. So now you know how to find the voltage, how to find the charge, and how to find the energy on each capacitor in a capacitor circuit. And that's how it's done.